Hello and welcome to Tech Runner. My name is Wesley, and today I'm going to be showing you the Tamarack 5612 Pro 12 camera bag. This is one of the larger bags. Um, it holds two bodies and about four or five lenses, depending on your lenses. It's got two front pockets that are pretty easy to get to. Um, there's also two Velcro strips right here. Now the Velcro strip fully loaded, it's not heavy enough to hold your bag. Well, I guess in this case it is, but I wouldn't trust it. Latch these, latch the side, whichever ones you want. You got two upper pockets, you got your two lower pockets, and you have, I don't know, two, four, six, you have about eight compartments inside to store stuff. Um, you have a tripod mount in the front that does not unlatch. So you just loosen it up, slide your tripod in, tighten them up. I don't use these, so it's not that big of a deal to me. The handheld strap is a really nice construction. It goes all the way around the bag so that it supports the weight of the bag the best it can. It's got four rubber pieces down at the bottom. It's got a pocket on this side, pocket on this side. It's got a document pocket on the back. And then it has a, a sleeve that you can unzip the bottom and you can fit your, um, your bigger carry behind. You can slide this on top of the handle of your carry behind suitcase, airport, stuff like that. Um, I really like this bag. The size of it is fairly large, but it's big enough for what I use it for because I like to carry everything. Now, it doesn't have a rain guard, which the Tamarack Pro 13 does. And I honestly think that this should, but it doesn't, so I work around. But let's get looking at the pockets. Okay, here are the front pockets. I really like the front pockets because they're individual pockets. They're not just one great big pocket. You can zip them down one at a time if you want, which I really like because then you don't have to, I don't know, it just, it's nicer. It's nicer just to be able to unzip one because you know it's in this compartment than to unzip the whole thing and just gets kind of hectic after a while. Now you have your pockets up here. The pockets are big enough to hold a older style external hard drive. Uh, this one's a Western Digital. They do not hold the newer ones because the newer ones are shorter and wider. Um, the pockets are big enough to hold your full size corded remote. And what I really like about Tamarack is your memory card holders are here and if you use the memory card and you swap it out you pull this red flag out, tag out you put your memory card in there and then you cover it and that means that, that memory card is already used. Now I really like that because you know which memory cards are what. You don't have to put it in the camera and figure out it's already been used and out of space. This way you just know. Now the pockets on the flaps are see-through so you can see the contents and they're perfect for holding batteries, um, tripod mounts, screwdrivers. Um, in this side I have my triggers and more batteries and hot shoe mounts and you have your pin holder up here for your uh, model release forms, your property release forms. Um, now in this pocket, I have an old film container uh, I keep eyepieces in. I really like these uh, eye cup eyepieces, so I couldn't figure out a place to keep them. And I found this laying around the house from the old days. Just decided it was perfect, and it fits in there perfectly. Um, flashlight, band-aids, another pin just in case. Um, and that's, that's the front flaps. Now I will show you the side flaps. Now the side flaps and the side compartments, I don't use a whole lot, so it's hard telling what's in there. But they cover up very nicely so the water and stuff doesn't get in there. It's got very strong Velcro. Uh, let's see, what do I have in this one? Band-Aids and first aid stuff. 
a trash bag that starts raining, a cable, lens cap, more batteries, a charger, more batteries. Um, the side pockets are fairly big. It's just honestly, I don't like to use them that much because the strap is always there. You have this buckle. It's just kind of a pain for me to get to, so I don't usually mess with them that much. Now, on the back pocket, we this is basically your, your document holder. Um, this is where I keep my model release forms, documents, or not documents, uh, maps of local areas that I like. I keep an extra poncho in there, and that's about it there. Now, in this little section right here, this is actually for a suitcase. Um, what you do is you unzip the bottom and you can put it over the handle if you're traveling and you don't feel like carrying it. It's a really nice feature. I, I like it, but I use it for my rain my rain covers that I use when I take lightning pictures or storm pictures or if I'm just outside when it rains. Um, everything fits in there fairly nicely. It could be a little bit bigger, but it's very easy to work with. Um, once you have it in there, it kind of collapses a little bit, so it's hard to tell sometimes. Okay, now this is the top compartments. This is on the overall flap of the bag. Um, I really, I like these compartments. They're see-through, so they're perfect for cables and filters and rags, and I think I even have gum in there. But the one thing that kind of annoys me, it's kind of a shared zipper. What it is, you have two pockets separated by this seam, but the zippers are just one zipper. So if you keep them in the middle, it's not that big of a deal. But if you tend to get it off to the side, it's going to take you longer to get to this one because you have to unzip the whole thing. But if you keep them in the middle, it's fairly easy to, uh, to handle. And if you want something out of it, you just unzip it. Now the zippers do go halfway down, but you can still get in them fairly easily. Um, again, this is one of those pockets that I only get in if I have to. Um, I like most of my stuff either inside the bag or in the front pockets. Um, this lid or top folds back, so I don't like getting in there that much. But uh, that's the top section. And now I'll show you the inside the bag. Okay, I'm sorry about the tight frame, but this is as high as my tripod gets, so we'll just have to go with it. But this is the inside compartment. Um, I carry my digital camera, which is a D200, and then I also carry a film N90S. And I carry this if I want vintage photos or... Um, just essentially as a backup. I usually have a couple rolls of film in here, but I don't at the moment. Um, but in this configuration, I have two two camera bodies. One ha always has a lens attached to it. Uh, that's usually the D200. Um, the 12 to 24. Now this is a wider lens at the base, at the at the end of the lens. So it's kind of harder to fit in here. So what I did was I removed this section. And I just keep it underneath the camera, and it works out really well, um, even with the uh, tulip lens hood on it. Uh, this lens, another situation where the end of the lens is a little bit bigger, but it fits in there just perfectly. I had to adjust the uh, divider just a little bit. Um, small lens fits perfectly. Uh, I have some lens hoods just set right here. And then I have my flash which is a SB600 and to give you a height comparison it fits down in there about a half inch so it's pretty deep camera bag I don't believe that you can fit a 70 to 200 2.8 or an 80 to 200 2.8 but you can if you lay it down now the configuration I have here just suits me but there's a lot of unused space like there's a divider under here so it keeps my camera up another divider here and then under here I have a divider to keep my smaller lenses higher up so I don't have to reach all the way down in there and, and get it. 
I believe this bag is about ten and a half inches tall on the inside and it really does hold what I need it to hold. Now if you need something bigger um, there's a Pro 13 that has a laptop sleeve here that uh, fits most 15 inch laptops um, iPads, uh, MacBooks, whatever you want to throw in there. Um, if you're looking for something smaller, there is a nice Tamarack bag. It's the Tamarack Pro 8. Now, the Pro 8 has one solid front piece, and instead of having two dividers in the middle, so this this configuration is body, uh, camera, or flash, or sorry, body, lens or flash, lens or flash body. The Pro 8 has one of these taken out, so it's the body. Um, lens or flash and then body it takes off about four or five inches but it's a little bit smaller bag and if you don't need anything this big and if you don't carry two bodies there's really no point in carrying something this big and and uh, heavy but I like to carry everything with me if I need it right then I have it no worries um, but this is Wesley from Tech Runner uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. This is the Tamarack 5612 Pro 12 camera bag. Thank you.